leader of uh, Wagnerites, uh, so-called private military company, Evgeny Prigozhin, has openly challenged uh, de facto not only the leadership of the armed forces, which he used to do even before in the last several weeks, when his uh, conflict, open conflict with the heads of the armed forces progressed, but he challenged directly the Kremlin, uh, in fact, organizing an open mutiny uh, against the armed forces and uh, declaring that his troops are going to uh, basically take over Moscow. Uh, his troops, uh, which are difficult to assess as to numbers, he himself declares that they are 25,000 people strong, but actually we have no independent confirmation of these numbers, are heading uh, in the direction of Moscow. They've uh, remarkably, remarkably smoothly taken over the key strategic objects, both civilian and military, in the large city of Rostov, uh, which, by the way, is the de facto center for commanding the uh, uh, current war with Ukraine. Uh, they are information that they've already taken over Voronezh, which is the next large city uh, halfway to Moscow. And they are continue to progress uh, north towards the capital. Uh, what is interesting is that there is no information about any serious resistance uh, on the part of the armed forces, uh, National Guard, uh, or any other structures force of Russia. Uh, they seem basically uh, passive. They allow the Prigozhin forces to take over, which uh, indicates that there is a big challenge of actually um, loosening uh, control by the Kremlin over at least part of the both civilian and uh, military structures in Russia which is a very uh, concerning sign for, for Putin for, for the Kremlin. Uh, we witnessed uh, more than uh, half an hour ago uh, a public address by Vladimir Putin, his TV address, quite short and bold, in which... Uh, he, uh, without mentioning the name of Prigozhin, actually, um, suggests that, that this is a treason, this is uh, a stab in the back uh, for Russia and for Russian armed forces. Uh, and he declared that those who went on this tr track of mutiny will be punished severely. So basically, he uh, promised to crush the rebellion. Um, so it is a, a sign of, on one hand, clear concern, because we could visibly see Putin saying his body language was uh, uh, revealing uh, uh, a lot of concern. Um, he was pretty nervous. Uh, on the other hand, uh, it's an attempt to retain control and to discipline both civilian and uh, military structures of Russia, um, the vertical of power. Mm, and to bring back order 
um, in order to uh, crash the challenge, the rebellion uh, organized by uh, Prigozhin and his forces. So uh, the next uh, couple of hours uh, or, or, or a day or so will be very crucial because it will reveal to what extent Putin orders would be followed. To what extent Putin has capacity actually to uh, deliver his will, to execute his will, uh, and to what extent we have still in Russia in currently uh, 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 a regime which is able to survive. So uh, we are now in very, very important moment uh, in Russia, a very decisive moment for Russia, a uh, historical moment uh, when we will see to what extent this regime uh, is able to defend itself, to what extent it is cohesive or not, uh, to what extent the elite members uh, will be ready to defend the regime, to defend personally the Putin as a president, or that they will choose rather to avoid making choices, uh, to remain passive, uh, to await for somehow uh, a clear victor appearing in that strife, um, to remain neutral, uh, or even to organize some sort of a coup d'etat, which is also possible in such circumstances. Uh, if some elite members uh, decide for themselves that the risk of going into a conspiracy against Putin in current circumstances are lower than actually to um, follow his orders, which may lead to a, a massive bloodshed uh, in Russia, to a civil war, to a civil strife, um, and other very negative uh, consequences, which Putin actually reminded himself, uh, recalling the 1917 uh, uh, times of Russia's revolutions, times of civil war in Russia, uh, which the current events are reminding to, to some extent. 